Hey everybody, today we are packing. Not just packing, we're packing for a six night trip, a five night cruise with a night in Miami at the beginning. We're doing carry on only, and I'm really glad that you're here. So I do a lot of packing videos on this channel. I talk a lot about packing tips, things that I hope will help you in your own packing journey. And I will tell you that most of the time I do carry on only. I absolutely could check a bag. I have checked a bag. There may be a trip in the future where I do check a bag, but when I'm cruising in particular, I find that doing carry on only makes so many things so much easier. And I plan on doing a whole separate video about efficiency tips and tricks I've learned about cruising, especially because I've become somewhat of a frequent cruiser. This is my seventh cruise overall. This will be my sixth cruise on Disney Cruise Line. I have really become much more minimalistic when it comes to my cruise packing. In fact, if you go back and watch some of my older packing videos on my other channel about packing for a cruise, this is going to seem like I'm basically bringing nothing, but I've really found that I am happier when I cruise if things are more simple, less is more. It's it's just become a whole vibe for me and it makes my cruises so much less stressful and a lot more fun. So it's not just because I'm trying to avoid baggage fees. There's lots of reasons why carry-on only is important. You may want to avoid getting your luggage lost. You may want to avoid in case you have to be flexible with travel, in case weather or flight situations, or I don't know, a computer breaking that the FAA uses causes a flight delay. There are a variety of different reasons why carry-on can be the absolute best way to go. So I'm going to show you how I packed for a six-night trip. I'm leaving really, really soon. I am traveling with a friend. I'm so excited. So let's dive right in. So my outfits are all right here. I'm not going to go over what I'm wearing or what I chose because I'm going to do a whole nother style video when I get back from the cruise. But here are all of the other items that I am taking. In this packing cube here, I have shorts, workout clothes, and socks. I have swimsuits in here, and I have undergarments and bras in here. Um, I have my liquids bag all ready to go. This is my little um, waist pack. I have shown you guys this before. Again, everything that I can, I will link below for you. Um, this is also what I use for my cabin bag on the flight, and I will put a link to a video above to tell you more about what that is, how I utilize it. It's one of my best watched videos, and I think because it's just so darn practical, and especially if you're an anxious flyer, it, it's just, it's a big deal. So check out that video. Um, I also have this little bag, which is, was from Target, um, I want to say last year, I think. And this will be when I'm on the cruise ship just to hold my phone and my cheaters. Um, and it's just a little crossbody. It's not just adorable. I think it's a, um, a dupe from somebody that's way more expensive, but I think it was all of $14. And I just love this for the cruise. It's like wearing a little lanyard, but it's a little more elevated. So I love that. My Aloha Collection bag, this will serve as my beach bag. And also, if I do end up shopping, this can double as another carry-on, and I can check my bag on the way back if I decide to do so, which I probably won't. Um, my Ray-Bans in their case, this is my Mophie 3-in-1 charger. Cannot say enough good things about this. If you haven't seen it already, this is all I need to charge my phone, my AirPods, um, and my Apple Watch with the cord. Um, I'm using this for my jewelry, which actually came from my little coach bag that I use almost every day here at home, but it was just the perfect size uh, for my jewelry. So that is in there. And then you do always want to have, if you're sailing uh, on a cruise ship that has one of those, um, you know, kind of like a soda fountain, not kind of like a soda fountain. It is a soda fountain. Um, it, they just give you little cups. So I like taking this and then I can fill up with my Diet Coke or Sprite or whatever and then go sit by the pool. Love that. Um, this is my tripod. Uh, you may or may not find this necessary if you're not a content creator, but for me, this one is really, really helpful and this will um, hold my phone. So that's really good. And all of that is going in my everywhere bag. What else is in here? Oh, this is the case to remind me to put, I use a Philips Sonicare and I, for a while I didn't travel with it because I felt like it was unnecessary, but then I was always really sad. I just love the way it makes my teeth feel. And yes, it's become mandatory. So, you know, that's a thing. 
Also in here, this is the one cruise necessity that I always insist upon, and that is my Dock and Bay quick dry towel. Yes, they always have towels for you on board if you're sailing Disney on Castaway Key, generally for excursions, but there's nothing like having your own towel that you can rely on. It's a lot bigger than the ones they give you on the cruise ship, and I absolutely love this. I have had this now Oh my gosh, has it been eight years and it has never um, done me wrong. So yeah, definitely recommend that. Um, and then my mulberry bag, this is what I'll be carrying in the evenings. This was actually a Christmas gift from my husband. And y'all, this is like a bucket list bag for me. I love it so much. Um, and funny, inside, I'm using it as a packing cube, and my travel fan is actually packed inside there. So that is safe in its little case. You know, normally, I don't recommend taking luxury purchases with you when you travel in case things should get lost or whatever, but I'm making an exception because this is brand new and I love it and I really want it to get some love. So one of the big principles of packing carry-on only is you really have to think through your outfits. Now this time, I'm not going to lie, I went a little overboard. I did something I'd never done before, but it actually worked out really, really well. So let's let's just show you what I did. Okay, you guys, I think this makes me maybe the biggest packing nerd in the history of packing nerds, but I have purchased these little things like what they have at department stores to divide out my outfits for the five nights of my upcoming cruise. Um, <laughs> the cruise is... Um, I, we've got two fancy dinners and then the rest are more, you know, cruise casual, but I still like to be dressed nice for dinner. So if you look at the colors, you'll notice um, that everything is very much in the same color family as I am, you know, prone to do. The cruise is originating in Miami and so it's going to be nice and warm. Um, I've got so many beautiful outfits here. I cannot wait to show you guys, but um, yeah, this is, this is next level geekdom even for me. Yeah, having those outfits all planned in advance and, and actually starting to think about it weeks in advance, which then gave me plenty of time to just sort of have that little piece of my closet set aside. I could shop as I needed. I could really think through my outfits. For me, this is part of the fun. You may hate this. This may not be your thing. You may be a person that loves to just shove everything in a bag at the last minute and go, but this really helps with my travel anxiety. It helps me feel excited about the trip. And you know, I, I like to play dress up. I like to get excited about my outfits. So don't think that just because I'm doing carry on only that I don't have some fabulous outfits planned. In fact, I am going to do a follow up video when I get back showing you everything that I wore on the cruise and how I styled it. So I'm not going to go a lot into individual wardrobe pieces, uh, but I am going to show you a little bit different way of packing than I've done in the past that works particularly well if you're taking a lot of dresses and you're doing a lot of lighter fabrics. Okay, so this is the new way that I was telling you about. If you are taking mostly dresses, what you can do is layer them like this, especially if there are a lot of maxi dresses, which is what I was taking this time, and then just alternate the tops so that you don't end up with one side really bulky, if that makes sense. Layer them one after the next. Uh, I'm not worried about getting into the suitcase because I'll be unpacking as soon as we get on the cruise. So if you were going to place where you have like multiple stops, this might not work because you are going to have to dig through the whole bag. But if you're completely unpacking where you're going, you're taking mostly dresses. It is a warmer climate, so they're thinner fabrics. This is a fantastic way to fit everything you want to take. And for this particular trip, that was the easiest plan. Now, 
Now, you probably noticed I had forgotten to show you guys my actual makeup. Makeup is in this little bag right here. So I pack very minimal toiletries. Literally, this little makeup bag and that liquids bag, and that is it. And then I also have um, in here will go my travel wallet, which is super important. In fact, you know what? I lied. I think I already had my travel wallet in here because I have to have my passport for this trip. Yes, I do. So I just got this little travel wallet off of Amazon. I love it. I don't think I'll show you any personal information if I open this up. I guess we'll find out. Um, no. So there you go. So my passport is in there. My vaccination card is in there. Oh, interestingly, they spelled my last name wrong. Whatever. Um, and then, of course, a pen because I will have to fill out... Uh, uh, paperwork probably on the way back. I, I think maybe, maybe I won't, I don't know, but you want to have a pen anytime you're traveling because there's always different forms to fill out. Um, I also have my MARTA card in here because I take public transportation when I travel and I've already picked up some cash. So I love this. It's um, really cheap. It was off Amazon. I'll link it below. Um, it's super compact and really good for a cruise. And every packing video, I feel like I highlight different things for you guys. In this one, I want to highlight, you want to make sure you can pick up your bag because you're going to need to put it in the overhead compartment. I know some of you, if you are elderly, if that's not an option for you, that's why you check a bag. I totally get it. But for this bag, for this trip, I want to double check that I can actually lift it into the overhead. And look, I can. I mean, is it heavy? A little bit, but that's no problem for me to put it in the overhead on my own. I wanted to show you too, now that everything is packed up and we know it can close, I actually opened it back up. Um, this is where I've got all of my shoes and my belt and then um, my hats and that bag and those three packing cubes are all over here. And those packing cubes just fit so beautifully in the away luggage. Again, always get the packing cubes that go with the luggage that you buy if they're available, or at least check the dimensions so that you're sure you're buying packing cubes that will utilize all of the space in your suitcase. And just like that, the suitcase is packed, the bags are put away, my toiletries are ready to go, I have all of the documentation I need, I feel prepared, I feel excited, and I cannot wait to get out of this cold weather we've been having in Atlanta and be in the beautiful Caribbean with my really good friend. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. I will link as much as possible down in the description box below. Those are usually affiliate links. Sometimes I can't find them or there isn't one or whatever. Um, but just know that this is never sponsored. And if you want to support the work I do here on the channel, I would love it if you would become one of my patrons. I'll have all that information below. Don't forget to subscribe. Please like the video. And I hope whatever you're doing, you're finding joy. And I will see you when I get back from my trip. Have a great day. Bye.